Hello viewers, welcome to Nagaland TV. This is Gargi Rekha and with you we'll share a special story. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman on Monday announced a fresh set of measures to provide relief to a string of COVID-hit sectors such as tourism as well as small businesses, apart from steps to boost health infrastructure both in private and public sectors. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman on Monday announced eight new schemes to give a boost to the sectors reeling under the COVID-19 induced restrictions. Under the new scheme, the centre extended the federal guarantee on bank loans to the healthcare sector while waiving visa fees for 5 lakh foreign tourists to perk up tourism. As per Sitharaman's announcement, the government will expand federal guarantees on loans to businesses up to Rs 6 crore 7 lakh. For the healthcare sector, Sitharaman announced a guarantee of $14.8 billion on loans for medical infrastructure. The government also extended benefits from the free food grain program for unprivileged people till November. For this, Sitharaman announced 938.7 billion rupees, bringing the total cost of the program to more than $30.5 billion. Tourism and hospitality sectors for long have been demanding support from the government, arguing that they have been hard hit as COVID has forced people to cut down their travel. Therefore, rethinking the strategies for tourism, Sita Raman said once the visa issuance for international travel is restarted, the first 5 lakh tourists will be issued visa free of charge. She said during the press briefing that the scheme will be applicable till March 31, 2022 or at least till 5 lakh visas are issued, whichever is earlier. She further stated that this would incentivize short-term tourists visiting in India. The government will provide working capital or personal loans to people in the tourism sectors to discharge liabilities or restart businesses impacted due to COVID-19. She further added that the focus is being diverted to new lending and not on repayment of old loans and mentioned that all borrowers, including defaulters up to 89 days, are eligible for the scheme. The government also allocated an additional Rs 19,041 crore to provide broadband connectivity in all villages under the BharatNet project. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday applauded most of the measures announced by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and said that they are planned to stimulate economic activities, boost production and exports and generate employment. In a series of tweets, Modi said that the decision will enhance public health facilities, especially in underserved areas, boost private investment in medical infrastructure and augment critical human resource. He noted that the special focus should be on strengthening healthcare facilities for children. He further added that the importance has also been given to helping farmers with multiple initiatives that will reduce their cost, increase incomes and support greater resilience and sustainability of agricultural activities. National Desk, Nagaland TV The announcement comes as Indian states start lifting restrictions amid a decline in coronavirus infections after the country suffered the unprecedented COVID-19 surge. Local restrictions imposed during the last months of April and May have severely hit economic activities such as retail, transport and construction while putting millions out of work. With these new set of schemes in place, now it will be interesting to see how beneficial will it be for the commoners and will it stand the test of these unpredictable times. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV.